And they're off. Uncle Vernon is leaving out of there. Knight's Tail from the outside, Incognito, has gone off stride early. And Can Tab Hall was away smoothly. Self Obsessed is also in the mix early. And Morrill lays the whip on his tail. San Vic is right in behind Can Tab Hall, sitting up close. Racing in sixth, the Cincinnati Kid, Great Challenger, has settled nicely seventh in behind him. Eighth is American Mike. Classic Hogan veered out. Classic Hogan tried to pull himself up. It appeared in the opening turn. Brian Sears now has him back going. The quarter in 27 and 3. And at the back of the pack after the break is Incognito, who is the trailer. So Uncle Vernon is two lengths in front. Can Tab Hall is closing that gap in second. And he's on the move for Mike Lachance on the outside. So Can Tab Hall looks to retake from Uncle Vernon well before the half mile marker. San Vic is in a nice spot there, just drafting along behind the top pair. Knight's Tail flushed out first over. Cincinnati Kid will ride his cover flow. Self-obsessed who left hard, shuffled back and locked in. And Great Challenger is third over. He's about seven lengths from the lead right now at the half at a leisurely 58-2. and two, A soft second quarter. Excess cover fourth over for American Mike. Classic Hogan is ninth to his inside and Incognito has almost caught the field in that slow second split. And Can Tamp Hall is controlling things on the front end here. Up on the outside is Knight's Tail trying to come to him. Cincinnati Kid is in a good striking spot. Uncle Vernon right in behind the favorite with nowhere to go. And Sandvik has ridden the rail all the way. He's pinned on the pylons from fifth. Three quarters in 129. So Can Tab Hall has rated a very soft middle half. And he'll look to kick for home for Mike Lachance. And Can Tab Hall accelerates away from the field. And he's opening up with every stride. Now four lengths in front. Cincinnati Kid is second. Great challenger is going off stride. Knight's Tail toward the inside third. They're coming down to the finish. Can Tab Hall a perfect 10. He crushes the crown field to run the table. An undefeated season. For and that's why Mike Lachance has won 23 Breeders' Crown races. He knew he had the best horse back down the fractions and kicked home in 27-4 to put the final touches on divisional honors. Sire Self-Possessed sweeps the freshman trotting events tonight. And as for Lachance, he becomes the third driver in harness racing history to win the Meadowlands face the Hamiltonian and a crown event in the very same year, joining John Campbell and Bill O'Donnell in that elite group. And what a year for winning Breeders' Walnut Hall Limited. They've got the Hambo Champ Amigo Hall later on. They've now bred three of the last four winners of this event. To the brace a little bit here. 27-3 early quarter. Tell us what you were thinking early on in the, in the event here. Well, I just, uh, I like to be uh, in front or close to the front without using my horse to, too hard. Uh, when I saw the long shot come from the outside, then I was just, I just make sure that uh, there was only one that I let go and that I could retake any time I want. And, you know, slow fraction to the half and 58 a little bit. So uh, that was very easy. But he responded even better than I thought at the top of the stretch there. 